Well, here I am waiting for William H. Morrow III, commercial voiceover specialist, and the owner of the establishment did not turn up the central air conditioning, and it's supposed to be a high of 105 degrees Fahrenheit this Sunday, July the 1st, 2018. You believe this? Pennywise pound foolish, perhaps? Greed by the uh, franchise owner? Well, we will use mysticism to determine that. I'm going to have to make my review on Google a lot more severe than I did. This is insane. How could it be ice cold one other days and not on today? And the manager says, it's broken. Yeah, right. My ass. They said he'll be here tomorrow. I said he should be here today. Is Why the, is the repair guy not here today? Is the owner of this establishment, this franchise, greedy, stingy, or stupid, and pennywise and pound foolish? It's plain dumb. Oh yeah, definitely, definite beautiful clockwise swing. There's no excuse for this. <clears throat> be this hot. The hottest now, day they say of the year. 105 degrees anticipated high is there any excuse for a business owner to have contempt for his customers like this yes no I can't be right is it is his excuse greed son of a bitch so nowadays business owners only care about their bottom line oh, and not no, their customers but ask him about this guy so. Does the owner of this establishment care at all about his customers? The, hold on. Let me stop it. Does the owner of this establishment care at all about his customers? No. Oh, man. Did, did the franchise owner before this, the original one, care about his customers? No. Well, that that was that was obvious. Yeah, let me lower this thing. You see, I cauterized it in, in, at the in the stove. All right. So now. Well, well, I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I purposely did this on my dining room table. I wanted to make sure it was you know. See, look, now it's good. Um, would even the warped humor of Eileen cheer us up today? Cheer us up any day. No. Oh, wait a minute. Am I imagining things or do I feel a cool breeze suddenly hitting us? You're imagining things. I, I think I'm, it's a mirage. It's, it's an... Um, yeah, I know, I know, but you yeah. know you're imagining things. I'm imagining things, okay. <laughs> Oh, this is bullshit. Without a doubt. This is bullshit. It's horrible. Gets, I hope somebody gets sick. Passes out and hits the floor. Then sue him. Right. Sue him. Hit, hit him. Well, you wouldn't take care of your clientele, would you? The best way to hurt a greedy person it's is to hit him in the pocketbook. I told you what was wrong. You didn't listen. Like my dad always said, you can't get through and, to people. And, and the manager with, with that ridiculous excuse, it's broke? No, it's not broke. No. You notice she doesn't make eye contact when she says no, it's that? it's not broke. She don't, yeah, how could it be? How could it work one day and other days? You just breathe yourself. Oh, it, I was imagining things. Uh, it suddenly stopped. You expect to go into a place to cool down and get some comfort. You walk in, you're like, oh my God, you're killing me again. You've done nothing. You've done nothing. You've made me just as uncomfortable, if not more. Totally, totally uncalled for. You have to spend money to make money, and you have to respect your customers. I'm sorry, you can't have contempt for them. I wish Arlene would come in. And there's way too many business owners that have that mindset too. I wish Arlene would come in.
probably wouldn't buy God. Like shoddy merchandise, and you have to. Oh yeah, and then they want you to pay for the shipping to ship their piece of junk back. I was for a hell of a fucking weekend. And I had that guy yesterday that could yak it. Yeah, but yeah, but more importantly, you had to wait three days well, to get your too, power. Love of that, and then there's got to talk. Because you don't talk, well, I said no. Yeah, but that's I, more the, your electricity and your air conditioning is more important I'm than talking about everything. Yeah, I know. I said you don't shut up. I said, I've got to tell you to stop talking. What was he discussing? He does this all the time. Well, was Every he discussing anything deep? No, everybody says, this guy can't shut up. I tell him, stop talking, eat your food. I said, stop this. I bet there's food in his mouth, hanging out of his no, mouth. No, as no, he's... it's not. I said, stop it. Eat your food. Stop yeah. talking. You talk too much. Well, I figure you're at home. It's it. You he just, talks too much. You just have the People TV. People feel this urge to talk. You don't need to talk so goddamn much. Stop it. Oh, drives me there's this there's this one particular show on CNN, oh, the guy God. with the gray hair, they they all act like they're overdosed on caffeine. Oh, they're all they, 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 talking like Please don't talk so much. Please don't talk so much. Please don't. Don't do this to me. No, and, and you know what? They overanalyze. He says you don't you don't talk much. No, I don't. I make my point and I get out. It's simple. But you people that have to go on and on and on. I said, why do you do this? So why? You talk about nothing. I don't care about your stitches and this and that. Oh, is that what he was talking oh, about? Jimmy, that's his part of it. I said, I don't care about your <laughs> His stitches. I said, don't give me small talk. I don't need small talk. The old lady upstairs, 90 some nine years old, she re it. She no. puts her finger on my doorbell and goes ding along, ding dong, ding dong, ding along, ding. And I go, what do you, what, what, why do you ring my bell that way? She goes, you got mail in your mailbox from yesterday. I That's go, not her business. but it's not your mailbox. I said, I said, Julie, it's worry about your own mailbox. Jesus God, leave me It's not, it's not you. Why are you mind everybody's? I'm doing something in the backyard. She comes in the back and says, what are you doing? Leave me alone. I says, is your mailbox empty? She people always want to tell you a long with Matt. I don't need to hear the whole story. <coughs> I don't need to hear you dragging it. Stop it. Quank, quank. Like this, just say, your upstairs name is a pet where she just doesn't shut up. That's it. Yeah. No, but but the but in this particular point is that she might she doesn't mind her own business. Well, we know that. That's it. Yeah, it's the busy body. Right, like Mrs. Kravitz on Bewitched. Uh, God, there's some air on it here. This is yeah. insane. I got a freaking you know. Don't worry about. Don't worry about my stick and mailbox. The point is, I eventually empty out my mailbox. That's don't the worry point. About it. That's none of her business. Don't worry. About it. None of her business. It's like when it with Matt. Did Matt, get to your point. Stop it. Stop it. <clears throat> Does Matt like? Is he intellectual, or he just rat, rat, rambles and rattles on? It's all like everybody else around me. Stories. And they draw. I guess they just. Well, you know, there ah, there there are people. There are people. Remember, the late Anthony Bourdain was a storyteller. God well, rest he his had soul. To fill time. Yeah, that's different. You're getting paid to fill time, but he told exciting, interesting stories. Yeah, Andrew Zimmer, he tells stories. But these people that go on, bro. and people just can't sit. You don't have to keep talking. I tell them to sit and eat. Sit. Don't open your mouth. Sit. Oh, when something comes up. Like my friend I see every morning here, Mike. So I was last night, what'd you have for dinner, bud? Sitting on the news, but well, we talk about that. Right. We get we don't go dragging. Oh, I prepared this right. for dinner. I made it this way. I had sushi. Bam. Right. To the point it's over. Yeah, like if you asked me what I had and I said I oh Billy I had a big ribeye steak. Just to the point. To the point, I tell people, make your point, get out. They go on. You letting it, you're really letting this aspect of life get to you. Very big time. I have less and less tolerance. Well, I, I I have less tolerance for having no air conditioning for customers. I mean well, that, that too. Is that everything is on top of everything. 105 degrees in yeah, this guy. They're not gonna do a damn thing. They don't care. So. Yeah. 
Oh, you know, my review didn't do anything. You were right. What review? My review online about this 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 establishment didn't hasn't worked yet. You you were right. They don't give a rat's ass. They don't care. It's a bunch of complacent bullshit. Like I, I told this one company, please, how come every time I call a corporate office, and what? I, no, it's, why do you bother? Why do you, why do you why, why do you bother if you don't react? Why do you apologize a million times to me? You're not solving the problem. React, do something. Like like all these market, apologize to me a million times. I don't want to apologize. What I want are you going action. To do to fix it? Are you going to do anything to fix it? You got one cashier all the time, even the weekend. That's all their talk. Just say yes, be kind and courteous. I we said, know <clears> your routines. <throat> we know your tricks. Stop it. God, you yeah. fucking people, you're ignorant. You're dumb. You got three items. One of them happens to be ice cream. The one in front of you doesn't want to let you get ahead. And you end up with a milkshake. I said, you like that? I told him. Where'd you go last night? Friendly. Yeah. Real cheese and then real cheese. Real cheese and uh, clam chowder. Oh no, clam that's good. Powder? Now that's good. Yeah. How was it? Real cheese is a little boring, but clam yeah, chowder. Three cheese. Did you dunk it? Oh, three cheese grilled cheese. Yeah. Oh wow, three cheese. Was it thick? Fromage. Yeah. Right? So it was special grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. And did they stir the clam chowder pot so you got enough clams? Yeah. <laughs> Good, because I know that trick too. Can't fool James P. Madonna, hearty, har, 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 har. Gee, I'm glad I named this man God Moral because it's it's got your eye color. And it's weighted nice too. That's why you didn't read too. Yeah, I know, you're right. It's too much. It's overkill. Yeah. Oh, I looked I looked online, the one you got. This one too, but the one you got is ancient. It's historic. Little, little figure. The, the hand. Guy, yes. No, the hand with the blue eye in the middle. No, it's a figure. A figure. No, it's a person. Yes, it no, is. it's a. It's a hand. It's a person. Double check. I will. It's a hand. It's a person, like an ancient person, like they sit down on the walls of games. Oh, the, oh, there might be other symbols on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. On both sides is a figure going like this. Yeah. Yeah, it originated in uh, thousands of years, in India, and then the Middle East. There's no air coming out at all. You notice that? You know, no I, I remember. At all. I remember the days when business owners really cared about their customers. They gave a shit. I remember those days. Where you get the board of health? That's when your dad here. was working. No. They cared about their cu the customers. Get, they get the board of health out here. They, they told me this week somebody called the board of health. I said, well, oh, my really? God, you've got to do something. I said, come on. I said, I come in here, I tell you what's wrong every morning. Oh, the, the um, I saw the owner. He, he looks like a younger Joe, uh, if you know what I mean. Joe who? The Mr. Personality with the laptop. Is that his name? Joe, the professor that gets paid for nothing. Oh, Joseph. Joseph. Oh. The owner Mr. looks like Mr. a young. Speaker. Yeah, no. The the owner looks like a young a young Joseph. He's a bald guy, but he's not Asian. Mm -hmm. No, this guy that went back there was Asian. He walked right back there in no, in uh, the, in. The Pan owner is not Asian. Now, who, who the hell is this? Maybe he was a regional or district manager. Well, well, a district or a regional manager should say... Joseph is about as friendly and... Uh, yeah, but it's a no-brainer, even if you're a regional... Joseph has a personality of a snow bee. Or a slug, munching on, on greens. No, but... All it, right, Joseph, take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, okay. No, I got to grunt, yeah. Because if because he only wants you to listen no, to well, him. No, that's why now I don't say goodbye. Remember before, the last no, time? Say, he didn't say one word. I said, fuck you, no, even, even if the guy was a district manager, you walk in, you know it's hot in here. You go, uh, why am I, why are our customers suffering? No, they probably argue, this isn't so bad. No, because he's trying to kiss the, the franchise owner's ass to win brownie points with him. That's what, that's what people do. It's well, called being... complaints against the, with the Board of Health and everything else locally and county-wide. I'm waiting there. for somebody to just pass out cold here. Well, they'll be passing out hot. They won't be passing out cold. <laughs> and if the, if, the, if the air was going to come on, I'd say, why, why did it come on now? You didn't have it on before. What's going on here? 
What kind of a game are you playing with the public? This is this is a perfect example of what has been going on lately uh, in, in, in uh, America. No, I don't think so. I think a lot, most places keep you comfortable, Jimmy. Well, if you my, could, my friend yeah. had the older gentleman in the morning. He's up at Lake Placid. He well, goes back and forth. Right, right. He said the McDonald's up in there, up there, they are phenomenal. It's comfortable. Right. In the winter, it's warm. I'm sure Barnes and Noble has the air conditioning. Oh, on. they all. What, what? Name any other place you know of where you go in and you're uncomfortable. It's the only one you and I know. You know, Come even on, Dunkin' man. Donuts is cold. It's always nice over there. But there's something about this establishment. They will not fix it. No, okay. they just, they, they, they spit in your face, but Think about it. Where else? Where, name another place. I can't think of any other place. That's it. It's just here. You know, Why I walked... just here, Jimmy? I walked into, Friday, I walked into Walmart. Uh, first, second, in uh, Saddlebrook. You know where the registers are in the front? It was ice cold. Now, just think about it. The front doors are right there, right? If it's ice cold by the registers and they're, like, comfortable, then some... And make, and Walmart does that. Why can't these assholes do it? Because they don't give a fucking rat's ass. You, you would think Walmart wouldn't give a rat's ass. No, they want... Uh, they, no, Sam Walmart. Take care of the customer. He yeah. always stressed that. Here, it's, it seems to be fuck the customer. But it's not all... It's just this guy. Yeah, because the franchise owner. It's something about... He doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody. It's something either. about all the franchise owners here. Maybe there's some kind of negative energy in this, on this land. I don't know what it is. Big deal. No you. excuse for this. I mean, what, no skin off the owner's nose to crank up the central air. No skin off whatsoever. You just turned a no freaking thing. You look at your people working back there and sweating. They're dripping. Oh, it's horrible. Will you explain that? Why are you doing this? I took one step you back. You know why you're doing this? Because you're an asshole. You don't give a fucking ass. Some anybody. people are just natural born scumbags. How, I'm, many I'm, bucks, I'm not, how many bucks are you, extra bucks are you getting in your goddamn fucking ass pocket? As busy as this place yeah. is? How much extra are you saving, you scumbag? Right? Am I right? You're right, what absolutely. What are you saving? You little hot shot, you're a dumbass. How many people are How much money are you losing, Jimmy? Because I'm not coming back here again. How many other people have said I'm not coming back? Right? Is the owner of this establishment making way more than enough profit to turn the damn air conditioning up? And look, it's not wasting any time, Billy. It's not wasting any yeah, time. Plenty of profit. So in other words, he's just a stingy, greedy, natural-born scumbag. The owner of this McDonald's just doesn't care about his clientele, does he? The owner of this McDonald's just does not care about his clientele, does he? You're right. And 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 and, and naturally he doesn't care what do you think about his employees? Don't forget it. Yeah. Yeah. The owner of this McDonald's doesn't care at all about his clientele, does he? I didn't do know, Jimmy. Uh, now he does not care. You see how nice and weighted that is? Look how big that wave is. Holy moly. Look what how, look how it's... Uh, uh, well, does he care about his employees? But that that's obvious. Does the owner of this McDonald's franchise care at all about his employees and their comfort? Look at the size of the nose, Jimmy. Look at that swing. They see how... That's a beautiful, beautifully weighted pendulum. That's a beautifully weighted See, pendulum. That's so when you do it, you get these little tiny things. I get big waves. Yeah, well, maybe maybe you have a certain ESP that you were born with. You know, some people have that. My my grandmother was an empath, empathic healer. I'm part of, there's a lot of, it's a good part of me is I'm not. Well, that's what that what accounts for your high IQ. I don't Remember when you played Trivial Pursuit back in the 1980s and you got every answer? No. By Vern's house. You got every answer right. I did? Damn right you did. I remember now. That's when Trivial Pursuit was like the game to play, you know? That's a good game. But you got... It's like Jeopardy, when you think about it. I like on Jeopardy when they have Final Jeopardy. <laughs> and all three get it wrong. If I get it right, oh, even before the music starts, I'm like, bam, there's the answer. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Hey, doing Alan Ludden, the password is... That was a good show. The password is...
That was who, like charades, right? Who was his wife? Betty White. Wow. Did she go to distance with him until he dropped dead? Well, he died so he's 30 plus years ago. Yeah, yeah. And so did... Uh, she never remarried. And the genius Rod Serling died... He on, died when he was 50. He died on the uh, opera. He had a heart, a heart attack. Or, well, he was a chain smoker. He never smoked a chain in his life. Stop it. <laughs> uh, funny. That's funny. I remember when he was interviewed. He's a chain smoker. How many links? Come on. Don't you give me start that. with that. I'm going to play the ukulele. You know? How many links? I was watching on YouTube of um, 1958 or 1959, a very young Dan Rather interviewing Rod Serling. No. And in those days, you, you people. Everybody. Edward R. Murrow. Everybody. They lit up. Yeah. No, on the air. Nationwide TV. That's right. They Everybody lived. Smoked. And it was a, such a fantastic well, interview. This day, John Mellencamp, the singer, he, he smoked. He says in my interviews, I'm smoking. You yeah. go by my rules. And he was there with Jane Pauley the <clears throat> other day, puffing away. He and, I smoke like a bitch. And, and, um, and Lucille Ball was another big smoker. Oh, she was. No. Yeah, well, she, well, she did get it. And also, uh, <clears throat> uh, Audrey Meadows from the Honeymooners uh, got, had lung cancer. Yeah, but he played anyway. Rod Sterling was a writer for Playhouse 13, I think. I think so. He mentioned he started out with, so I think it was Playhouse 13. He was a writer, and uh, obviously the guy's like, what a mind! My God, every episode you learn a valuable lesson, and look at all the guest stars who started out on, on the Twilight Zone. Every one of them. Name, name a few, like Robert Redford. Richard Deacon, uh, uh, William Shatner, Elizabeth Montgomery, Agnes Moorhead, Charles, uh, Bronson. Ro Roddy, Charles Bronson. Robert Redford, I just said. Yeah, right, yes, yes, yes. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, uh, everybody. Holy, oh, Jack Klugman. He was oh, with he was Jonathan Winters. He was he, you remember? Uh, the pool uh, hall. Yeah, uh, the Fats, pool. Fats, not Fats, Fats Domino. And he also. Minnesota Fats. He also was in the episode Klugman, where he was a trumpet player. Remember? And he met uh, Gabriel. Right. Blow your horn, remember? Who was That's John right. Anderson? Now, very good now, now, I think Jonathan Winters represented Minnesota Fats or yeah, somebody. Yes, yes. And, uh, and then there was, um, of course, Burgess Meredith got more oh, roles. The, the eyes of the library, you love the read. The Obsolete Man. Well, that was another one. No, you are no. obsolete. No, the, the library where he liked to read a lot was all the time in the world. Oh, his wife and his boss and she, were... She went through his books. His wife and his boss were yeah. on his ass yeah. for reading all the time. All the and time then it was a the nuclear world. holocaust. And he had all the time. And he, oh, whatever the book was. Oh, so and so. He leaned over and the glasses fell off. And they broke. How ironic. And then he couldn't read. But this was a, supposedly it was a nuclear... Well, well, they, well, no, not supposedly. There was. Well, no he, radiation, of he, course. Well, yeah, well, there was, but they didn't play on that. No, I know. He was, in the, he was in the vault, and boom, you know, then he went out. That's so, right. He was in the vault at the time. At the bank where he worked. Yeah. Which is lead, I guess. You know, that's just thick shit. The bank doors are huge. Yeah. You, you know, some people, I don't know why, but some people did not care for Get Smart. I, I'm I, one of them. I laughed like hell. I thought it sucked. Jaime the robot. Oh, what about Laramie, the one that used to be in the um, the, I'm going out for sugar. You want to come out? The, yeah, the one that was in the the, the the mailbox. Was that Laramie, Agent Laramie? I have no idea what you're talking about. Get smart. <laughs> I have no I've and, your, and your favorite is the cone of silence. No, I think that's stupid. Chief, I think it's re it, it, I it, it's probably the as, cone of silence. As young as I was, I thought that show was incredibly stupid. And he goes, what? What'd you say? Matt, no, the chief never wanted to do the Cone of Silence. Who cares? Can we talk about something else? Yeah. The show sucks. But you don't like the Cone of Silence? It's no. funny. No, it's not funny. You coming out? It's yes, cold. I will. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.
Come aboard. We're expecting you. We're expecting you the love boat. <laughs> Yeah. Long, I think. I think really? On, um, one, of the, one of those channels there. Hey, how, hey how come how come uh, Ricardo Montalban, Montalban and the midget dressed in the white suits? He always says, smart. He always says, af <laughs> well, after the midget goes, they're playing, boss, they're playing. He would go, smiles, everyone, smiles. <laughs> That's like doing that here right now. Yeah, Fantasy Island, right? That yeah. was Fantasy Island. That show sucked. Really? Oh, that was awful. Hey, remember Falcon Crest with Jane Wyman? Oh, oh that was horrible. And Lorenzo, Lorenzo Lamas? Yeah. Oh. I hated that. That, oh. that Jane Wyman, she was a rich matriarch that wanted to control everybody's life. You're so fucking wine. Shut up. You know? But but there are there are people that are rich that try to control their whole their, all their kids. Crest. They tell their kids what to do. Landing. These are all these are all knockoffs from Dallas. Oh yeah, Knotts Landing from and Dallas. Uh, the Beverly Hills nine zero two one zero. No, that had nothing to do. With that had them. nothing to do. Nothing with to do. With so them. Dallas was like the originator of a lot of these shows. The Dynasty tried to copy it. So, oh, uh, 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 Colin, Joan Collins yeah. was Dynasty, right? Yes. And the and the blonde. Um, no, uh, the blonde was a Linda Crystal from. Yep. Oh, the western, the, the western from the sixties. Now I, I even remember the, the western from the no, the, sh sh the western from the sixties with uh, oh God, the, the rifleman. No. Oh, I don't know. You know your westerns better than me. Oh God, I lose my memory lately. The now western you, from the sixties. I can't remember. You know there there are two blondes in Baywatch before Pamela Anderson who was. Uh, Ellen Alaniac, I believe. She was a Playboy center for. Yeah, there, there was. But she, she, was a, she was a naked bitch. <laughs> but, she was, but she wasn't on for long. They replaced her. Lickety split. Uh, I wonder if David Hasselhoff banged all of them. He probably did. Was it the Big Valley? Wait a minute. There was. I remember the Big Valley. It is there with a. Uh, yeah. Very famous actors from the 30s and the 40s played the mother. Yeah. The was Big that, Valley. Was that during Bonanza days? Yes, the 60s. The 60s, the yeah, Big the Valley. The and all them. Yeah. The Big Valley, yes it was. Lee Majors. Every time he ran fast, he did it in slow motion. How about that? Was he six million dollar man? And what about the the, the song? E -e 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 and and Lindsay Wagner. They're going. E -e 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 She's so boring. She's boring. You know who is exciting? Who, Le Lucy Lawless as Xena, Warrior Princess. No, that's so. She played. You don't like that? Oh, that's so. Now, how come? Uh, Kevin Sorbo was Hercules. He wasn't even big. Happened to that? But he wasn't even big and jacked up. You should have had a show. I'm tired of this. And why did Aaron McDonald's employee? Yeah. Now why didn't they pick you to do the Superman movies instead of God Rest His Soul? Uh, Christopher Reeves. He was another Reeves. Was Chris Reeves or George Reeves? Well, George Reeves was the original. Great Caesar's Ghost, you know, Jimmy Olsen. No, no that, that was the chief. Perry White. Perry White, you Jimmy said. Was, Jimmy wouldn't swear. Was Golly. Golly, Mr. Kent, or <laughs> gee, Mr. Kent. Oh, you mean like Robin like Bert, I, from I Batman? Been a great Mr. Kent. Jimmy, say some fucking ass swear words, will you, you little bitch? Listen, Robin. All those people, golly G. Golly G. Uh, uh, what's that? Uh, leave it to Beaver. Same thing. Oh, Ed, this is true. But you, Eddie this Haskell was, was cool though. We were standing out front having a cigarette at the McDonald's. Remember, we used to go to McDonald's at the uh, 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 Barnes and Noble. Right. We all went outside for a cigarette. And there was Steve. Remember Steve Prosky, the tutor? Steve. Steve Prostrate. And somebody else. It might have been Robert Ellis. Right. So we were all getting, let's go, okay, it's time to go, blah, blah, blah. And I said, uh, oh, great, we'll meet back here tomorrow. <laughs> we can exchange phone numbers. I said, yes. And then we can go to the malt shop and see if the beaver and Wally are there. <laughs> you said that? Yeah, and he goes, wow. he goes, that did sound kind of stupid, didn't it? He goes, we can meet here tomorrow and exchange phone numbers. I said, yeah. Then we can go to the malt shop. That sounds like those two guys that do the Sonic commercial. Those two goofballs. No, no, one goofball. I'm sorry. The one guy. The blonde guy. Yeah. 
Because he really is. That Sonic thing is sucks. I mean, can, we have a place where you can't even go inside to sit down. Is there a walk-up window at least at Sonic? I don't think so. I don't you know. mean you have to stay in your car? I don't. I don't. I don't need it in my car. Hey, uh, Karen, I don't like. I don't need it in my car. I, I. I refuse to. You know why? I. I have to wash my hands. But the, but he's. But the bottom line is both. What we both just said. Why aren't you giving people the choice, Karen? Hey, let's go inside, Jimmy. No, I'd rather stuff my face in my car. Well, let's, whatever uh, you want to do. Well, at least walk up. When so I handle make it where you have to buy, order through a park, talk to the clown type of thing. No, when I, That's when, cool. <laughs> when I touch money, I will not eat until I wash my hands very well mm-hmm. with lots of suds and then nah, rinse it. No, nah, you're wrong. When I no, touch nah, money, I, do that. I, I suck my fingers. Oh, God, you're grossing me out, man. You're yeah. grossing me out. I man. want bacteria, Karen. <laughs> Karen, I want bacteria. Oh, All gosh. I can get. Help me, Spock. Help me, Kirk. Nah, you really went back in time and met the uh, Indian beautiful Indian girl, and he lost his memory. Oh, middle money. What's your name? Kurok. Kurok. My friends and I used to laugh. Oh, you mean that that, that she was a blonde? She was a dark hair, beautiful. I remember Miramani and Jimmy. That was Miramani. Remember when he Uh, used to scream? Miramani. He used to scream. He was in love with the Indian squaw. She was a squaw from another planet. How could a squaw be from another planet that Gene Roddenberry? They discovered space travel. The Indians aren't as stupid as you think. Let me tell you something. My teleportation has... Yeah. Yeah, that was the episode. It was an Indian on another planet. In a teepee, too. She lived in, she lived in a teepee. The show was not good. It lasted three years. Now, TPs had a special outhouse inside. That's why they're called TPs, yeah, right? Yeah, dumped in the dirt. That's all you did. <laughs> or in the bush. No, you stayed inside and crapped. That's pretty gross. Yeah, but it's cold outside. Hey, what are you gonna do? speaking of gross, the old western towns with the dirt roads and the horses would crap and they throw the, they throw the spittoons and the commodes out the window. Don't let them kid you. This. Inside, they had cola. They had cola toilets a whole bit. Right, Karen? Believe it or not, there was a man named Crapper who invented the toilet bowl. His last name really was Crapper. But I hear he's a real shit. Well, it was a shitty toilet bowl when it first came out. Huh? No, but I'm, it's true about the yeah, wild... he lost his company when he played poker one night and had a royal flush. You know, you know, that in the wild, wild west, the red light district really started as a red light bordello, right? But normally they were above the uh, saloons where they play poker. But they use they use socks. I heard as condoms. I told you that socks. I told you that. No, I saw it on the documentary. Oh, I told you that years ago. I said, you know what the first condoms were? I sat right here. And Dirty stinking sock. They take their sock off. And then they and then they kind of like g- uh, mentioned it in a roundabout way. Well, what's doc- wrong with that? A sock. Yeah. So, is that is that why? Hey, if there's no hole in it, what's your problem? Is that why we're laughing? Got socket to me, baby. What do you care about a sock? Get it? Socket to me, uh, Rowan and Martin's I, laughing. I, I would tell the girl, hey, stop your bitching. These are over the calf tubes. Socket to me, baby. So, no. That's what that's where they got it from. Well, Nixon said, socket to me, socket to me. Now who is the girl that she's British? They said said socket to me. They all said socket to me. <coughs> Yeah, we came from was laughing. laughing. Rowan and Martin's laughing. And Goldie Hawn, uh, Lily Tom, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, um, Artie Johnson. Very stupid. Very stupid. No. Very interesting. Very interesting. But stupid. But stupid. Doom cups. Now, Joey. You remember when Artie, I think it was Artie Johnson, pulled up on a little tricycle? To Lily Tomlin on the bench in the park. Do you believe in the hereafter? And she said, Why, well, yes, because then you know what I'm hereafter. <laughs> she hit him and he went boom right over. Uh, Joanne Worley used to say, Boring. Turkey, tur- chicken, chicken, chicken. Everything no, was chicken. no, she used to go, Boring. She died? Did she die, Joanne Worley? No. no. Yeah, she, she, she used to do when something was boring her. She was, She's she, 104. She would go, Boring. Wow, I wonder if she can still do that at 104. No, she's a I don't know, 108. Yeah, Mexican schmant. Anyway, um, 
Boy, they can't miss a spot here, huh? You know what I'm here after. <laughs> you believe in the hereafter. Does she still wear that funny looking hair net over her head? Lily Thomas. Well, she did the, the phone operator too. Where, oh, where are you tonight? Why did you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found true love. You made another <laughs> You were God. <laughs> hee haw. You remember that? That, that was hee haw. Hee haw. Remember hee haw? Oh, that was funny. K O R N T V. This is on. When they came up from the court Boy field. Clark was very talented man. He's a very talented no, man. He still is. I say was. Oh, he's, he, how's he doing? All right. I haven't called him yet today. <laughs> K O R N T V with the eight cartons in the background as a, as the background. That's professional. Yeah. Well, for the for for rural areas, like it worked. Freaking eight cartons. You know. Well, I mean, if you can, if you got a low budget uh, network station, you know. That was a good show. Junior Samples Car Sale. This is Junior Samples Car Sale. That was a good show. Junior Samples. I think Karen worked for Junior Samples. Didn't you one time, Karen? Did you advertise for Junior Samples Car Sales? No, I'm offering this little price for the amount of... Did he date Lulu Roman? Remember Lulu Roman, the chubby girl with the black hair? The real heavy one? Yeah, Lulu Roman. Then there was the barber shop. Uh, Might have been Floyd. Remember Floyd's on the Andy Griffith show? Everybody, were, you know what? A barbershop like that can easily be a great reality show because everybody tells, talks about so many subjects well, in the barbershop. they had the movie called The Barber, The Barbershop. Remember yeah. the black guys? Remember that? They had two, I think, two movies. And the whole, the whole set could be The Barbershop. Well, it was. Jesus, personally, I want my movie to be called The Nail Salon. Yeah. I like, I thought Good Times was a decent sitcom. Of course, Sanford and Son, you know, but The Good Times was good. Uh, uh, John, a I, I have to watch the video of an, John in Amos. an interview of John Amos telling why he left the show. Why did he? I have to watch it. Oh, I, I never get. I never watched it. There's a reason why he left. He's probably. He didn't do a whole lot from that. He's anyway. probably he disgruntled. Have, he should have stayed there. That's a funny word, disgruntled. That means pissed off in a fancy way, right? Unhappy. You know, like 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 without the air conditioning. Like we are today without the air. We're disgruntled right now. We're very disgruntled. John Amos. It's possible. There's a lot of. A lot of actors and actresses and, and entertainers. Yeah, from New Jersey. New Jersey put put out a lot of actors, actresses, and entertainers. Yeah, but an awful lot. Yeah, I mean we're there's we're, there's a lot of very in, highly intelligent people in New Jersey, but then again, there's a lot of assholes in New Jersey too. Well, that's everywhere. I mean the New York metro area, but you know when I was in Sussex County, they had a different accent. All I did was go west on Route 80. Yeah, I'm not here. Is, is it getting warmer in here? Yes, it's getting warmer in here. Oh, you know what? I, this, yeah, South Jersey, the uh, the Pineys. No, they have like a Philadelphia kind of accent. You know, it's, you it's getting warmer. Is Eileen hiding here and talking? No, you know what? The place cleared out and it's, it's, and it's got, gotten worse. And it got warmer. They which, have nothing which, on. Which means they honestly don't give a rat's ass about their customers. It has got. Karen, Karen. Karen, that's been out for over a week. Karen, Karen, over there, that's been out for over a week. You know her Kool Aid? Tastes like almost like water. She said there's hardly any flavor in it. Karen, what are they doing right in Wh here? What's going on here? Oh, and you I mean, homemade and punch. I'm sorry, not Kool Aid. I, I, I oh, downgraded something, Something's going to get fixed? I doubt it. I, I, you, I, you, you tell anybody here anything, the urinals, Karen, have been flushing four, it's five, six weeks. Like they don't work. Yeah. I put stuff down and it doesn't smell right. like they won't fix it. The urinals, the lights, the HVAC. So the owner of this establishment, he really, does he really have me mega bucks to get things right? done in this place? To get things fixed? 
No, he's, he's no, no, he's got money. No, 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 no. He's got money to. No, no, no. The pendulum says he's got. He's loaded with dough. You have different, different repair guys. He's got for plenty of money. If that's the case, and if this guy can't get the job, get a new repair group. If he can't do it, there's no excuse for this, Garrett. I want to. When the lights have been out for one or two weeks, the urinal has been four, five, six weeks. I want they to. Can't give us air. Come on, Karen. Something's wrong here. Something's really wrong here. Trying to flush it, it's trickle of water. Oh, it's, it's just nothing. Trying to flush it down. It's just nothing. Well, I use a really good plunger. Because yeah, I had a plunger yesterday. Didn't make it go down. Yeah. You shouldn't have you shouldn't to have plunge to. it. No, I did it. Though. He's right. You shouldn't have to. It's, this is a commercial establishment. Come on. Well, it's ridiculous. I, I used to be able to pull in and see the golden archers. So let's stop here and get get cooled down. A little the bit. golden arches. And then when you walk in, you go, "Oh my!" You God, know what these gold, God. what these golden arches stand for? McSweat. You know, it's called urinating on the customer, uh, 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 figuratively urinating on the customer. Where is the corporate office in all of this? Is it in the Midwest somewhere? Really? Oh no way. Where are, is the corporate office in all of this? No, but where are they? No, they're Illinois. But my point is, where are they? My point is, what are they doing? They're doing nothing. All I have to do is send the link of my review on Google to the corporate office. You know what? That's not a bad idea. This is, there's no excuse for this. My buddy from Boston gives sends his regards. He says, how is uh, man god William H. Moore III? I go, he's doing well. Sometimes he has it rough, but he's he's all right. Hanging in there. But you should have to stop. Like I said, you should have to stop. You should be a welcoming sign. Jeff uh, Jeff Zambello. He's a former lieutenant in the army. He's a par He was a paratrooper. He's got two master's degrees. Oh. And he and he and he he, he really enjoys uh, the time he heard your voice. And oh, and and uh, the other guy, Rick Brown. I'll tell him again. Rick Brown says he definitely would love to sure, employ employ your voiceover cap cap capabilities. Anything they'd like. Capabilities. 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 You know what? I'm getting real uncomfortable. You're right. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm better off in the car with my AC is colder than this whole whole building. Not right. Here. You don't no, do this. Knock on, on wood. Well, I can knock on napkins because it's technically I mean, it's been bad enough here made of wood. With, with no Eileen. That just stressed me out. She has time. very yellow teeth. You ever notice that? Yeah. I wonder if she freaking, like, she needs ultra bright toothpaste or something. Bacon so soda with broccoli. Teeth. That's kind of gross. When she, when she does the Horshack laugh, you can see all that uh -huh. yellow. You can see all those uh -huh. yellow, all the yellow teeth. Next time she she's here. And she laughs. Check out the teeth. Oh, her yellow. Teeth, her teeth look yellow. They're as yellow as the, 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 the what those mustard packets down on your. Ask her. Say, what do you what do you brush with? At least nothing. Does our friend I does our friend Eileen brush her teeth regularly with toothpaste? No, she doesn't. She does it. Oh, maybe that's because she's a lunatic. Maybe is it? Be <clears throat> so she does not practice good hygiene. Yes, it's a green. She does not practice good hygiene. Is it because she's out of her friggin' mind? <laughs> yes. Yes, it's because she's out of her freaking mind. Oh, I gotta tell you, uh, mysticism. Oh, yes. And her, her, my guy. Man God Moral. The pendulum, Man God Moral. My guy, oh. Oh no, that well that's proof she's out of her cotton pick of mine. Six years this guy's been at the shore living and she hasn't been there yet. She supposedly has a fiance, never been to his house in six years. Whoa, 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 whoa. The other day I said Does he have another woman down there? He said yes. Yeah, he has another woman down there. That's why she's never been there. How can she's you be engaged? engaged. I yeah, think she's got a fiance. Yeah, she's engaged. I think the fiance. She's that's her. Um, he's gonna marry her when he turns sixty. I think he's sixty-three now. She concocted 
that whole concept of well, well, fiance. Well, well, no, we asked the other day, does Eileen have a, an extremely wild imagination and storytelling ability? I said yes. I said yes. Depends on yeah. yeah. She makes things up. And then when it's wrong, you prove it oh. because you're not listening. You're oh, not did, listening. did the one I give you swing feel? The hand, the hand, the, the amulet I gave you. Did it swing? Which one? The one, the one I gave you. Yes, was it yesterday? Well, I haven't used it yet. No. Oh, all right. That's the one I said. There's a little figurine. Okay, but 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 it's also there's also a hand. There's something. Uh, she's uh, she's not all there. Something's wrong. Yeah. You could hang that over your door or over your over where you sleep. That keeps evil away. No, I've got such a feather thing, a dream cat. No, but the thing I gave you is more powerful against evil than even that. That little figurine that was with this one. The thing thing I handed to you, the thing I gave you, yeah. No, it's like it's like if if you have enemies. Eileen, if you're leaving, we're gonna be gone, okay? Yeah. Uh, We're we're going back to the mothership. I can use you. Boy, he sees he sees not kids. He's like a. No, you know why? Because they don't fall apart when I wipe my mouth. <laughs> Probably wiping your butt. Wiping my butt? Yeah. Actually, I like heavy duty toilet paper. Good. Toilet paper. All right. All ready? I just want one more swig. You like that iced coffee, don't you now? Yeah, and there's no sugar, there's two creams. Oh, it's up to you. I mean, you can wipe it.